Is being a software developer is your dream career path? Then you should understand how to build a strong resume. Hello everyone, it's Anusha from Simply Learn. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this session. Today we are here to discuss how a software developer resume looks like and what are the do's and don'ts for it. Do you guys know which is the most frequently used language for the software development? Is it Python, Java or C Sharp? Stay tuned with us to know about that. When you are looking for any of your dream job, a solid resume is the one that shows all the essential information about you as a professional briefly and clearly. It also helps you to crack the interview in the interview process. If you don't know how to build a strong resume for this profile, then this video is for you. Watch this video till end and learn how to build an effective resume for the blockchain development profile and figure out which are the languages that you must be popular in this profile. Now let's continue. Before we begin the session, please subscribe to our Simply Learn YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates on the interesting and amazing videos like this. The plan for today's session is we are going to see the software development in general, then the software development language, then we will see the resume content, at last we will go through some of the sample resumes. Let's begin the session by understanding what is software development and who are software developers. The term software development often refers to the computer science operations such as developing, deploying, maintaining software, etc. The set of instructions or a programs known as a software which directs the computer operations. It works independently of hardware and enables the programming in the computers. Now let us understand who are software developers. A software developer is a person who understands and who uses the programming and designing language to build a software that meets all the needs of the user. There are many fields in software development like front-end development, back-end development, full-stack development, application development and many more. Now you might be wondering what are the languages you need to learn to continue in this position. Here are some example programming languages that are used in the software development. The first is a HTML. HTML is a hypertext markup language that describes the structure of a web page. The next is a Java. The many useful software development Tools like Eclipse, NetBeans and many more which are written in Java. Nowadays Java is used as a often default choice for scientific applications. The next is a C. C is widely used for developing a compilers and low level programmers and work very closely with the computer hardware. Many other language compilers are built using the C language. The next is a Python. Python is most commonly used for developing a softwares websites, test automations and data visualization as the Python is user friendly and easy to learn. The next language is R. Using R we will able to build a R packages and develop a custom visualizations and many more which solves all the data science problems. The next is a CSS. CSS is the cascading style sheet are the fundamental libraries for the software development. It will help to learn how to create and access the web pages. The next is a JavaScript. It is used to create interactive web pages with the simple functions and designs and user friendly. Did you know, according to Stack Overflow 2020 developer survey, the most popular language in the world is a JavaScript with a 69%. Then it comes a HTML or CSS with a 62.4%, then SQL with 56%, then Python with 41% and at last Java 38.4%. So, if you want to become a software developer, you should know some of these languages to start. Let's move on to the details that are required for the developer resumes. First, we will have the address section with the contact info. Then, we have a summary statement or a career object, followed by a work experience, education and skills. At last, we have some additional sections like certification, hobbies, interest, project, etc. Let's go through each section one by one. The first is a header with the contact info. This section contains the name, designation or some personal information like email, date of birth and some of the social media links like LinkedIn, Naukri, etc. The next is a summary statement or a career object. This section contains a small description of your career objective of this field. For example, your expectation towards your company or your expectation towards your career path or your expectation towards the role you are going to choose. The next section is a work experience. This section contains your previous work experience like your roles and responsibilities in that company. For example, software engineer. 
If you are a software engineer of previous company, you should mention the roles and responsibility you have gone through in this company as a software engineer. The next is a education and skill. This section contains the details of your education and your soft skills and the art skills. For example, when you took an ed education, it will contain the details of your graduation, undergraduation. When it comes for a skills, the soft skills and the art skills that you have, we can mention in this section. The next is an additional section like certification, hobbies, interest, project. This section contains an additional information about you, your project, your hobbies, etc. When you take an example of hobbies, playing cricket, musical instruments, etc. which can be included in this section. Now let us go through some of the sample resumes. As we were discussing about the sample resumes, we have created a two types of resumes. One is for the entry level, one is for the experience level. Entry level resume for the person who are a beginner, who is a fresher for this field and wanted to start his career with the field of software developer. And the experience resume for the person who has some experience in certain roles and responsibility in some previous companies. Let's go through the each resume one by one. The first resume we are going to discuss is an entry level resume for the freshers. The resume contains all the sections as we mentioned in the previous slide. We have took an example resume of a girl Kavanaki. Our header section contains a contact info like her name, email ID, phone number and her address. And then we have an objective section. Objective section, you have to mention some of the basic information about you. Has she is a motivated B graduate from Bangalore Institute of Technology with 8.5 CGPA. She has mentioned some of the expectation of her in this field. Like to begin a career with the organization which offers her a challenging role and a learning opportunities. And she is also eagerly waiting to grow her profile in this career. After that, the next section is the experience section. As she is a fresher, she has just mentioned the internship experience that she has undergone in the one-stop company and some of the information in two, three lines about the what inter internship she has undergone, what she has learned, what she has experienced in there. Next, she came through her skills that she has. She has mentioned some of the soft skills and art skills. Art skills such as JavaScript, Java, Python, HTML, CSS, and soft skills such as teamwork and leadership quality. And she also mentioned some of the rating for that. Then it comes for education section. Education section contains some of the information about her like a undergraduation, graduation, PU, school, pass out year and also some of the percentage she has secured. The next section is a project section which is an additional section where she has mentioned some of the projects she has undergone in her internship and her maybe in her BE degree. Then it comes to the languages. She has mentioned some of the languages that she know to speak, right? Maybe it's a mother tongue like English, Hindi and French. When it comes for the interest section, she has mentioned some of the interesting work she will do in her free time. Like, like weekend computer class for the volunteers at local computer center and practicing coding. She has also mentioned some of the additional information such as, such as date of birth, marital status, nationality, gender, etc. The next is an obvious section. The obvious section contains some of the Obvious like playing cricket, reading no novels, playing instruments, etc. This is a basic resume for the beginners who are applying for the software development role with some of the basic information they need to mention in the resume. Let's move on for the experience level. For an example for the experience level resume, we have took a resume of a girl, Teja. So there, are, there will be so many similarities in the entry level and the experience level resume. The only thing that differs is an objective section and the experience section and it will be some of the additional sections such as achievements and rewards etc. The objective section differs from it will be containing some of the experience of you in the previous company as she has a two years of experience, some of the achievements she has done, she has a 98% of on time project completion, some of the information about your previous roles and responsibilities. The experience section contains an additional information that is which, which is the company you are working, the from and the to date that you are working and the role that you have been preferred and some of the work that you have done in that company. That, like example, she has an hands on experience on J JavaScript and Java, Python, etc. It also includes some of the additional sections such as achievements and rewards. She has won the best employee awards in the year 2021 for certain work. You can mention in some of the additional information if you have done like you can add on some of the project you have undertaken in that company and also you can add on some of the interest if you have and hobbies etc. 
This is an experience level resume. The only thing that matters is your objective, your previous work and your achievements in this resume. This we have reached the end of this session. Today we saw what is software development, some of the languages. We also go through the resume content and some of the sample resumes. Please like this video and share with your friends and family. For more such videos, visit the Simply Learn YouTube channel. And if you have any queries regarding this topic, please mention it in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.